Hey there, everyone. It is Sunday, and that means I need to look myself in the virtual mirror. Let me get this all straight here and tell you how I did on my weekly goals. Um, you may not know this, but I was a sales professional for 20 years, and how I ran my week, ran my teams, ran my month, ran my quarter is by setting up different pieces that ultimately ended in performance. And that's kind of what I'm doing now as I'm financially free, trying to figure out how do you get through a week? How do you make an impact? How do you help people? How do you improve yourself? All of those things. And then you throw on top of this, this health event that has kept me indoors for seven weeks, 42 days. I've been outside. I think I drove three times, twice to my accountant and once to the grocery store. Yeah. It's getting kind of interesting. So at the end of the day, let's look in the mirror. Let's look at the good, bad, and the ugly. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's just keep moving forward. So let's share what we have done this week. So again, I challenge you, ask you, suggest that you break down your weeks. As you can see, this is my March 1st through May 31st week here on the bottom left of the screen. Uh, you can see we do have a December 1st through uh, February 29th view as well. That was something that was going so well before this health event. And then this health event comes and just rocks my world. So week eight. Week eight shows that when you're on stayed home duty, when the wife doesn't want you to go on long runs anymore, that your goal of 30 miles a week explodes. It, uh, it has been falling since week three, really since this has gone into uh, stay-at-home orders. I do have a track, not a track track, like a school track, but I have a, a mile run in my neighborhood. It's just so boring. It doesn't change. And it's so easy when you get done with a mile just to stop because, hey, I'm right by home. That's kind of how I like the old one is you go run far away and then guess what? You got to run back. Uh, that's how I did eight miles at a time before. So that has clearly has to change. Uh, eating, you know, as, um, you know, I'm a fairly disciplined individual, but this is even breaking down now when you're sitting at home for like 96 hours straight, your days and nights get kind of reversed. So not good. I am glad we didn't gain any week, gain any gain any weight this week but man i made brownies yesterday i was so bored i personally made brownies yesterday man it tasted good too when they're warm tastes good but anyways uh that's what's going on i need to i need to figure something else out thank you for your advice i am changing it up a lot of you saw last week's video where i was pretty stressed out i am changing it up i have a do i do have a barbell and some um free weights that i'm using so i'm alternating I'm still active. I'm still doing something six days a week, at least, if not seven. It's just not as hardcore. I don't want to get injured. I don't want to have a reason to go to the emergency room. So I'm just moving, right? So it's okay. As far as social impact, um, still far exceeding the needs. I'm still producing a lot of original content. Uh, YouTube views, uh, about 40% of last week. Last week, that Grant Cardone video with Kyle went... Uh, had a good time, uh, but still had a pretty good showing this week. Again, putting out three, four videos a day, talking about real stuff, what's going on. It's been a lot of fun. Podcast exploded this week, uh, almost 9,000 listens. So thank you very much. Again, the podcast is just one rental at a time, just like everything else I do. Uh, new subscribers uh, to YouTube, uh, up 291. Thank you very much. Uh, plenty of growth there. I want to thank you for that. Uh, and then Instagram subscribers uh, up about, uh, what did that be, 39? Uh, so again, not doing great there. Uh, I do have somebody posting something every day, usually a quote of mine. But that's, that's all I got. As far as the hub, that office building I own that I've invested in in Fresno, I'm starting to change. It, you know, folks, I, that course I have, How to Start One Rental at a Time, it tells you how to learn your market. I am changing my business right in front of you. If you look at the last 
30 weeks, I was relying on wholesalers. I was doing direct mail, cold calling. I was paying people to do that, right? Look at what I'm doing now. I am writing offers out of the MLS. My business has fundamentally changed. I believe most of my transactions going forward, greater than 50% will be out of the MLS, Realtor.com, Redfin, Zillow, whatever you want. I am going to eventually be buying a lot of stuff that all of you have access to. And I think that's a good thing. The market is changing right now, but you must learn your market. Don't be early. Right now, sellers can only remember yesterday. Their prices are yesterday. All of my offers are tomorrow. So we have a discrepancy. Just in the last three weeks, I've done 28 offers. 28. All of them were 20 to 25% below asking. I am betting on tomorrow's price while sellers remember yesterday. I do not expect yes answers today. 28 offers. I am hoping in three or four weeks, two or three of them call me back. I keep telling you this one rental at a time story. I'm working on it every day. I look at my market every day. You need to get the course to see what I'm doing. You need to help yourself. Take advantage of this changing market. Buy for cash flow. Don't bet on appreciation. I did see a couple of changes from wholesalers this week. They've been pretty dry the last three weeks, actually the last four weeks. Uh, I was able to look at a couple of deals with Stratton. Uh, Adam brought me a deal to look at and, and James brought me a deal to look at. So again, they are seeing deals. Um, there's still a lot about yesterday's prices, but we're getting closer. I certainly hope mm, the next two or three weeks that we can start talking about tomorrow's prices, but still it is, it is a process. But again, I'm happy to look at deals. It's been a while, frankly, um, but it is coming. Uh, created a brand new door hanger, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, Adam drafted, I think we're getting a thousand or 2000 of them made. That's going to happen a couple hundred bucks. Uh, have started doing some texting. Uh, again, we're texting in new areas and new markets. So lots of stuff, not a lot of leads yet. Uh, but again, we're looking at deals for the first time that's going on. Cash flow, not doing a lot, not raising rents, backed off some rent growth. Um, haven't bought anything to hold yet, but we'll look to do that. Uh, haven't sold anything, meaning actually closed. I have two escrows open right now that will hopefully close in the next four weeks or so. Uh, and then I have th about three properties that I'm looking to buy, but it's so slow right now. Um, we shall see. Uh, again, nothing really in escrow, uh, but I'm okay. I don't want to be early. I want, I want you to learn your market. No reason to rush into a burning building when it's totally on fire. Sometimes you need to let it fall, but you need to learn your market. You need to understand what's going on. Not spending any money, shoot, not even leaving the house. Gosh, so boring. Not leaving, not spending any money, no unique experiences. We're gonna have to do something. We're gonna have to have a candlelight dinner. We're gonna have to get dressed up or something. It's, um, it's feeling a lot like Groundhog Day. As for the week on you know, one rental at a time, the story, the movement, I'd say another good week, another couple hours of original content. Really, it's more like four or five hours. I uh, had 51 book sales. Amazon finally is selling books again. It, it got really low there two or three weeks ago. Um, thank you for the Amazon reviews. Only got two this week. Um, I am hoping that if you're watching this and you've read my book and it helped you, could you just leave a five-star review? Even if it just says great book, that would be great. Uh, audiobooks uh, had a good week. Had uh, what is that? Forty-one audiobooks. No, yeah, forty-one audiobooks sold. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, three audiobook reviews. This is a big deal for me. Love to see audio reviews get over fifty. Uh, that would be amazing if you could help me do that. If you've seen, read it on audio, even if you've done an Amazon review, but you have Audible as well, do me a big favor and leave that Audible review. That would be awesome. Lots of people are taking the free course. Uh, I was on a couple of podcasts, uh, other people's podcasts this week and talked about it. Uh, people are coming. They're really getting the movement. Uh, and we had six more people sign up for the paid course. Uh, the paid course is the best thing I've created. I keep adding more stuff. For example, we have the private Facebook group where you can ask questions and share amongst other students. 
But more and more people are coming to the Saturday 9 a.m. live streams. I start a live stream in Facebook just for my students, just in that private group. So if you really want to get quote unquote mentored by me or ask questions, that is probably the best way because I've answered every question asked of me in there. So kind of cool. So in the end, that is our week or that is my week, I should say. What I want you to take from these goals and why I bother sharing with you and every Sunday is goals are important, but you've got to break them down. Being financially free is a great goal, but how are you getting there? How many offers? How many houses have you looked at? How many, you know, just what are you doing? Break it down into small chunks, put it out there, share with folks and see what's going on. So this is my goals. This is my actions or my activities for the week. Let me know what you think. If you've read my book or uh, listened to it on Audible and have not given me a five-star review yet, please, please, please do me that favor. Uh, and if you're looking to get started one rental at a time, my course called How to Get Started One Rental at a Time simply said it's the best thing I've created. Have a wonderful day. Take care.